All right, so we're gonna go over uh, some round pinning stuff today. Again, like this horse, she's harder to catch out in the pasture. It doesn't seem that right now, but uh, when she's out in the pasture, she's real smart. So she'll hide behind other horses. She'll uh, walk away from you and take you real far away from the gate, and then she'll run back to the gate. Um, she seems real sweet and innocent right now, but I promise she's not actually like this, uh, especially out in the pasture. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna round pin her, and I'm gonna get her to where she'll come more off my body language than, uh, than what she normally does. Because one thing she struggles with is where, when, especially out in the pasture, when I apply pressure somewhere with this mare, okay, she oftentimes is real disrespectful about it and she'll run through pressure or, I really like a lot of horses to draw to me. So I can really teach that in the round pin. So when I'm working them on the outside, I always bring the horses to the inside uh, to let them rest. So I know she kind of looks like a mangy dog right now because she's shedding and uh, she's got a lot of hair and she's got some uh, balder spots where she's slicked off. Uh, but instead of brushing her first, so we've brought her up, we've caught her and I turned her in here. Uh, we're gonna work her first and then for a release to her is gonna be the brushing that we do. Okay, so if you have a horse that's really hard to catch, this is one thing that's really good that you can do, especially if you have access to a round pin. Uh, take them and work them in the round pin and then do all of your brushing and, you know, grooming, wh whatever it is that you're doing with your horse, do that in the center of the pin, but work them first, okay? Because oftentimes horses, when you bring them up, they, they are kind of turds to deal with in the beginning. So if you take them and work them a little bit first and mentally prepare them to be with you before you actually start uh, working them. So I can, I can round pin her, get her to where she'll draw to me. I'm gonna get her off, her off of my body language better, okay? Which should also, if I do it right, it's gonna get it better in the pasture too. So when I go to step in front of her in the pasture, she's not gonna just blow right by me. All right, and when I can, I can actually take and use my body cues to move her hind in around or get her to draw more to me. And that should be able to help me out in the pasture uh, when catching her. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna move her out. So I'm gonna use my flag here. And I'm just gonna establish a direction. All right, so we're gonna start left. We're just gonna move her out and get her mentally ready. So we did work her yesterday too, or, or two days ago actually. Um, and she was a lot more fresh than she was right here. So a lot of times, you know, if they're real fresh, slinging their head, swishing their tail, kicking out, you can see she kind of arches her head and throws it down. Okay, that's a sign of being fresh. Uh, two days ago, she was a lot worse than this. So I can already tell now she's already a little more closer to being ready to work for me than she was two days ago. So if you can do this consistently, you'll you'll get better results. Okay, you'll see results quick. If you only do this once a week, your results won't be as fast. So what I'm gonna do here in a second, ideally I'd like her to trot, break down to a trot. So I'm gonna kind of slow my walk down a little bit and go more towards the center. Okay, I'm lunging her, she's not lunging me. So she's gotta work for me. If you find yourself almost at the hind end of your horse, pushing them to go, then you're doing way too much. Okay, you need to get that horse moving out a lot more. I shouldn't have to work very hard to do this. Okay, so now she's at a trot. So what I'll do here is I'll just back straight away from her and get her to draw to me. Okay, so immediately she doesn't stop, but there she looks in towards me. Okay, and I'm gonna give her a second to breathe. If she looks off, this is good. If she looks off, I apply a little pressure to her to make her look back towards me, okay? Every time she goes to look off, I just kind of slap that flag behind me, okay? If she chooses to walk off, we go the other direction, okay? That was her choice to do that, all right? I presented her a good opportunity 
to stand still and breathe, okay? But she didn't want that opportunity, so we're gonna keep working. And I may have to do this for a while. I'm gonna do this until she stands still for me, okay? And if they go to walk off, when you're just walking up to them, you can imagine when you go to get on them, when you're sitting in one place in the arena talking to your friends or whatever it may be, you know, they, they may walk off from you, you know, and they're not, they're not mentally checked in. Okay, so I'm gonna work her. I'm gonna teach her that when I present her the opportunity to rest and stand there, it's probably a good idea to take it. So I'm gonna back off here again right here see how long it takes her there that that was a little quicker that time and if she doesn't draw to me right there and let's say she keeps going i'm gonna keep backing up until i hit this fence and when she's coming around at some point she's going to come to me all right and if she just hops to the middle and keeps off keeps on going i'm just going to take her the other direction Okay, and keep presenting her with that good opportunity. If she wants to keep going, that's her choice. Let, let, her, let her make that decision and that turn into work. So right there, I put my hand on, my, on her head and I don't want her to keep walking into me. All right, so I just, I just put it out there and she kind of ran into it there. All right, so I want her to think, hey, there's a barrier here. Unless I invite you to come into it, I don't want you to come into it. If I put my hand up, I don't want you to push through my hand, okay? Even if it's just petting you, I don't want you to walk into that, all right? Now, if she goes to turn back the other direction, which we'll show you a video of a horse doing that too, if she goes to turn back the other direction, I've got to hustle back to, to, to shoot her back that direction I had her, okay? So if I back off and then she immediately cuts away to the outside, I don't want her turning away from me. So I'm gonna hustle back to that position and send her back forward and let her know that, hey, turning that way is just gonna get more work. Okay, so now she's a little bit more mentally checked in with me. All right, so I'm gonna check a few things here. I'm gonna move her hindquarters around and then move her forequarters around with any, without anything on her face. Okay, so this will kind of give me a good idea of how connected she is with me, um, you know, mentally. Uh, right now. So before I go to ride her, this is a good thing to do too. Since we've got so much time now, these are good things you can do with your horse. Groundwork is something that's often overlooked with a lot of horses. Okay, so right there I go to apply pressure here and she takes off. Now I applied pressure on this right side and she took off to the right. Okay, so that would be coming into the pressure that I applied. <clears throat> so I'll try it again. I'm going to back off here. Let her come into me. There she looks away. I just move my flag and she overreacts and takes off trotting the other way or loping. So we'll just work again. Another thing you'll notice is I stop her on this opposite side a lot more than I actually do uh, the side towards the camera. Okay, and the, the reason for that, not just for the better angle, but that's the gate that we go in. So I know she's a lot more drawn to this side and those other horses. So I use that to help me draw her to me. Because I know she wants to look at those other horses. So she's a lot more likely to, uh, to look that direction on this opposite side. So I back up here. She stops and relaxes. I walk over here to the side. Now her attention's a lot more focused on me. So I go to apply pressure on a certain body part and she's actually moving it for me, okay? And not leaving. Come to this other side here. I'm gonna apply a little pressure to this hind end. This is where she took off last time. She made a real good choice there. Okay, I barely moved my flag to get her to move that. All right, so you don't need to apply a lot of pressure there because otherwise she'll just shoot out. All right, but now she's a lot more mentally prepared to ride and uh, work. 
helpless. This is going to help me in the pasture when I go to catch her. Okay, because she's going to understand my body language a lot more. If I go to apply pressure somewhere and get something to move. All right, and I think one step at a time. Okay, I'm going to get her front end to move one step at a time. I'm going to get her hind end to move one step at a time. There's no need. There's no need to, to ask for a whole lot. That's the step I wanted right there. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get one step with the front end. Right there. Good. So now I'm going to go to the hind end. Good. Now she's a lot more mentally engaged. There. If she wasn't to step there, then I'd just keep increasing pressure and getting harder until she takes at least that one step. Okay. If they don't take a step, I have to keep increasing it, even if it comes to me using this flag. And if it makes her move out, then that's just how it has to be. But if I add pressure, then she has to move off of it. And I go here to move the hind end way. So now she's a lot more mentally with me. And I didn't have to just lunge her and get her hot and sweaty. I just worked with her mind uh, more than anything. So that should help uh, when it comes to getting a horse better out in the pasture and getting your horse more mentally ready before you ride them. So there's a lot, there's a lot of benefits to this because everybody's dealt with a horse. If you've been around horses uh, for a while, you've dealt with a horse that's harder to catch. So these things will help that, all right? So 